I'm Kate Krieger Watkins here with Mason County Press's The Scoop, and today I'm joined with Heather Bush from the West Shore Pregnancy Center. Thanks for having, thanks for letting us come in and talk to you today. Yeah, thanks for coming. Yeah. So um, what we're doing today is we're going to talk a little bit about the Pregnancy Center, and then we're going to talk about the big event you have, Footsteps for Families, coming up on Saturday in Rotary Park. So why don't you just kind of give us an overview of what West Shore Pregnancy Center does for the county and the communities and that kind of thing. Yeah, so West Shore is a, um, an organization that partners with families in our community. So we offer parents kind of a hand up as they're dealing with young kids, four years and younger. And what we really try to do is um, help equip them to be successful. Um, so whether that's prenatal classes, it's diapers for their little kiddos, um, your mentor relationships okay. to kind of help them deal with some of the, the stresses that come with parenting little kids, um, whatever it is, just to really empower them um, to be successful parents for their kiddos. Great. Now, do you have any classes that are happening right now that people can sign up for? Mm -hmm. So we do all of our classes um, right now on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So basically they can just come on in here and pick a time that works for them. Oh, nice. Um, and it's one-on-one -on -one and it's kind of like, okay, you have a two-year-old that's dealing with temper tantrums. We can help you learn some discipline techniques. Or you have a three-year-old who you want to potty train. How do I potty train? Um, and wow. so it's all kind right. of based solely on what your specific needs are. All right, cool. So as far as the staff goes, like what mm -hmm. kinds of different um, staff members do you have here as far as, do you have like counselors on staff, mm -hmm. um, nurses? I, I, I don't really know, so why yeah. don't you give me kind of a, a rundown of that, too? Yeah, absolutely. So we are, um, we work a lot with volunteers. So most of our peer mentors are volunteers. So we have both um, male and female volunteers that come in and we'll meet with clients. We'll do a lot of the classes. Um, we do have two staffers other than myself that um, one of them kind of organizes all of the programming that we do, and the other one oversees the volunteer side of it. All right, cool. So... I know too that a lot of times people have stuff at their houses and they think, you know, I don't want to just send this off to Goodwill or the Salvation Army. I want mm -hmm. to make sure that it gets in the hands of somebody right away. And they don't really want to have a yard sale or a garage right. sale or something. <laughs> so um, talk to me a little bit about donations and mm -hmm. what people are allowed to donate to you guys and mm -hmm. some of the needs that you might have right now. Yeah, so we um, take donations for anything that you would think a kid would use four years and um, younger minus toys. Um, so we don't really, we don't take a lot of toys here, but I mean, high chair, strollers, um, bouncy seats, diapers, clothes, wipes, all that kind of stuff, um, we definitely have a use for. So we, um, one of the things we offer is every month parents can come in here and get, um, material support. So diapers, bottles, blankets, all of those kind of things that okay. kind of add up for little kiddos. Oh yeah. Is there a certain date and time that you guys do that? Like, uh, mm -hmm. open pantry it's, kind of thing or is it whenever yeah, you're just open it's whenever have... we're open so tuesday wednesday thursday come on in okay what are your hours yep we're tuesday wednesday from 10 to 4 and then thursdays from 11 to 5 okay cool now is there a specific need you guys have right now that you've been seeing a lack of that people have been not donating mm -hmm. that a lot of parents have come in and say i really need you know diapers or wipes yeah. or anything like that um, I would say typically our biggest need is always size four and five diapers um, and even size like 3T clothes because a lot of people think that we work solely with babies. Um, okay. And so actually our biggest need is for toddler stuff. Really? Mm -hmm. well, I have a ton of stuff I can bring you. Perfect. Bring it on in. <laughs> um, now let's talk a little bit about the prenatal mm -hmm. um, care and stuff. Uh, a woman finds out she's pregnant, um, needs some supports. Mm -hmm. What kinds of stuff do you guys offer for that end of it before she has the baby? Yeah, so we, um, you know, we do pregnancy tests. So women who um, want that end of it. So we definitely offer the pregnancy tests and we do kind of options counseling, kind of walk her through what her choices are um, and really try to... Um, help her understand like how she can make parenting work and so I think a lot of times when you get especially young moms single moms like they get super overwhelmed by um oh my gosh I'm pregnant how am I ever gonna sure. gonna make this happen and so we really try to help them put together a parenting plan first and foremost um and then we do a it's about a 12 week prenatal class so it walks them through everything from labor and delivery newborn care um 
just kind of all of those different things that you want to know going into bringing your baby home. Okay. And so um, you can then earn stuff for your baby. Oh. So if you need a crib, you can take classes and you earn points towards um, those items. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Do you work with any other agencies, schools, the hospital, anything like that mm -hmm. to kind of do? Because I know a lot of times when people are taking classes, they'll have like a birth plan or something like that, mm -hmm. that they've worked with an organization that they take to the hospital. I didn't know if you guys were involved in doing like classes or counseling outside mm -hmm. of just this building. Yeah, so we, um, one, we work a lot with DHHS. So we do a lot of their um, like court mandated, mandated classes and okay. supervised parenting times. Um we do have a working relationship with um, the OB department and some of the nurses there and just some of the doctors, um, OB doctors here, just to kind of know like what kind of the needs are that they see in the sure. community and how we can partner with them. Um, and then we do offer an evening, it's called Birth of Family um, program class that we um, try to work with some of the different agencies and kind of what, um, what families need extra help with. So like, if it's budgeting or seeing okay. um, stuff like that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Now let's transition a little bit and talk about this Footsteps for Families mm -hmm. um, big event. Is this the first time you guys have done this event? Yes and no. Okay. So, um, so for 20 years, we have done this event called Walk for Life. Um, yes. Okay. So every year we do Walk for Life, and it's a huge fundraiser for us. So it's something where our supporters, we come together, we... Um, you can go out and you can get um, sponsors and pledges for your walk and then you do this one mile walk and then you come back and we have this big lunch and a celebration and it's um, always been a ton of fun but um, for a variety of different reasons we kind of wanted to expand the event um, and change the name and really the goal is to incorporate more of this idea that we are a family center so a lot of times you hear um, the pregnancy center and you think of just babies and right. pregnant people. And so um, one of the things that we really want to do is we want to see the entire family restored. And so um, we wanted our event to reflect that need as well. So that was for the name change. All right, cool. So. Now, let's, what kinds of things are going to be happening mm -hmm. on Saturday? Yep, so we have a craft fair that's going from 10 to 4. Okay. And then we have the actual color walk, which starts at 11. Um, and it's exactly the same as we've done it before. Um, other than the fact if you want to, there's going to be this super awesome color station down at Luma Street Boat Launch that you can go get the powdered color, um, get all awesome looking, uh, or you can avoid it and just watch other people get <laughs> shot with color, whichever your preference. Um, and Wear then, clothes that can get dirty if you want to go yes, into that. absolutely. Because I don't know if that stuff comes out very easy. Uh, with special soap, it does. Um, special soap. <laughs> but... Um, but yeah, and so then we're just having the lunch after party back at Rotary Park, and at 5 o'clock we have a worship in the park where a couple local worship teams are going to come play for us. Now, do you know who those are? Yep, so it'll be um, Trinity Church, Okay. Um, and then the Tabernacle Church for Manistee. All right, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So what would you say would be um, a reason for somebody to come and check this event out for the first time that hasn't ever you know, come to the mm -hmm. walk of life before. Yeah. So really the whole purpose of our event is to get, um, one, awareness and obviously funds for our center, but also something that um, we really want our community to understand is that our organization is here for family. So we want it to be a family fun event. So whether um, you come just to raise money for us or whether you just want something super fun to do with your kiddos, um, it's a really good opportunity just to get out of the house on a Saturday. Sure. So it's going to be craft fair mm -hmm. till four mm -hmm. in Rotary Park. Yep. And then there's going to be the walk at one. At 11. Okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I have a four year old. At 11. <laughs> and then um, worship service at five. five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, will there be food vendors on hand mm -hmm. or anything like that? Any other kind of activities for kids to do besides the walk, like going on down there mm -hmm. for families to kind of, you know, come and check out the art fair, but then do other things? Yeah. So there will be. Um, Mason County Reform Church's um, Dominican team is providing a food truck, okay. so there'll be food down there, um, and we have like a lot of 
fun little surprises for kiddos okay. um, throughout the walk. So Cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to thank you for joining mm-hmm. me today. And I want to remind everybody that um, if you want to check out the daily headlines and the local weather brought to you by Smith & Eddie Insurance, go to masoncountypress.com. And if you also want to be a guest or a sponsor of The Scoop, uh, email our editor at editor at masoncountypress.com. Again, I want to thank you. And uh, Come to the Footsteps for Families in Rotary Park in downtown Lunnington. That's the park right next to House of Flavors. I know mm-hmm. sometimes people get the different parks mixed up. Yep. Um, starting at? 10. 10. I was going to say 9. I'm glad I said that. <laughs> uh, and uh, if you have any kind of family needs, not just pregnancy needs, um, you can always come and check out the West Shore Pregnancy Center. Again, yeah. thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.